This is the Dizzy Electron game. It is designed to reinforce what you've taught about the fourth quantum number, also known as the spin quantum number. Recall that the fourth quantum number says that electrons, as they travel about the nucleus of, a, of an atom, like to travel with a partner, or they travel in pairs. It also said that one member of the pair desires to spin in a clockwise direction, while the other member of the pair desires to spin in a counterclockwise direction. To play the spin quantum number, you'll need a clear playing area. Position yourself in the center and ask your students to form a circle around you. Tell your students that you will be pretending that you are in the nucleus of an atom and that they are electrons circling about you in a spherical shaped path. Because you're studying the spin quantum number, ask your students to find a partner. So we'll just pair them up here. The next thing to tell your students is that they will be traveling in a spherical shaped path and like the spin quantum number says, one of them will be spinning clockwise while the other member of the pair will be spinning counterclockwise. So tell your students a direction in which to travel. So we're going to say in our example here that they're going to travel in this direction in a spherical shaped path and while they do so they're going to begin to spin. Okay. As they begin to move around, they'll be spinning. You may want to caution them to go slowly so they don't become too dizzy. So they'll move all the way around. And the goal of the game is to only get back to your original spot safely. So they'll move around and they're spinning, spinning. And hopefully, eventually, they'll make it back around to where they started. So this is the Dizzy Electron Game. Your students are demonstrating the fourth quantum number, the spin quantum number, where the electrons travel in pairs, one spinning clockwise, the other spinning counterclockwise.